Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to edit and make changes to your user profiles. Once the phone is unlocked, go to the menu by pressing the top left key and scrolling to user profiles and then press the top left key. Here you will notice that you have a tick. If it's default, it will, the tick will be next to general, which means general is active. So if general isn't active, you will notice that there will be a tick on another item. So for example, if we scroll down to meeting and we press the center key, meeting mode active. So let's scroll back up to general and press the center key and general mode is now activated, meaning that there is a tick next to it. So now we're going to edit this. So let's press the top left key and scroll down to customize and press the top left key. Here we have alert type. So this is set to vibrate and ring by default. If you scroll to the right, it's a vibrate then ring, scroll to the right again, ring only. I'm gonna leave mine on vibrate and ring. Our next option is ring type. This is set to repeat by default. If you scroll to the right, it's set to ascending. Scroll to the right again, beep once, and then back to repeat. Incoming call. This is your call tone, so your ring tone. So what this means is when somebody rings you, the phone will ring and play this tone. So you can change this by going to incoming call and selecting it. I'm just gonna give you a precursor that it may get a little bit loud here. So let's just go to ring one and here we can choose what ringtone we like. So I'm just gonna have a listen to ring eight. Yep, I like ring eight. So I'm just gonna press the center key on ring eight. And that means that ring eight will now be my ringtone. Scroll down again to ringtone volume. To turn it down, press the left key. To turn it up, press the right arrow key. So let's just show you this. So go down to ringtone volume. And here, to turn it up, the right arrow. To turn it down, the left arrow key. So I'm just gonna leave mine at about midway. And scroll down. So here we have our message tone. So this is your incoming message tone. So if you select this, you'll have the option to change the message tone. So I'm just gonna change mine to tone nine. And that means that tone nine will now play when I have an incoming message. Scroll down to message volume. Again, to turn up, press the right arrow key. To turn down, press the left arrow key. So I'm gonna leave mine about midway. Scroll down again, and this is keypad. So this is set to keypad tone, which is the tone that you hear when you press keys. So you can scroll to the right, and it has silent. Scroll to the right again, click, and back to tone. So the click means that it will be more of a click than a beep. So we're just gonna leave it as tone. And here you have key tone volume. So to turn this up, press the right arrow key. To turn this down, press the left arrow key. I like my key tone to beep a little, so I'm just gonna leave it on the default, which is number two. Our next two options are power on and power off. Both of these are set to silent. If you'd like to change them, you can by going onto power on or power off, whichever you're changing, and just press the center key and change the tone. So you can scroll down and select a tone. And that means that that tone will then play whenever you're turning the phone on or off. The next option is system alert. This is set to on by default and we would ask you to leave this on. This is for things like alarm tones, uh, power on and off, all of these kinds of sound alerts. So now let's press the options key and you have the option to save, select, save, and all of these settings will be saved. So once you have configured your phone correctly with the in terms of ringtones, you just wanna press that options key and select save. And it will save all the settings that we have changed. Thank you for watching this video.